Hi everyone, so this video is going to be in two parts today. Um, the first part is, as always, a knitting update. So thank you for everyone giving me feedback about the Doctor Who scarf. Um, I think I'm going to go with not putting tassels because, like everyone, a lot of people said, it is too long. But I'm still going to do a little mini tutorial. That's actually the second part of this video of how I do tassels on a scarf. So stay tuned for that. But that is coming in a little while. So, in addition to the Doctor Who scarf, I actually was able to finish the blanket that I was working on last week, uh, which came out really nice. Uh, not as big as I thought it was going to end up being, but still lovely. I still like the pattern really well. It came out very nicely, and I think it worked well with the uh, yarn that happened. So, that turned out really nicely. I started another blanket with some lace weight yarn. I was trying to do something else, something different with lace weight, but it turns out I actually don't have the patience or for any of that, so I don't like lace weight that much. Please don't hate me. I'm sure there's other people out there, but apparently it's just too fun of the yarn. I'm sure if I actually took the time and effort to do it, it's I could do some really nice stuff with the lace weight, but it's just I don't have the patience for it. It's just too fun of the yarn for me. So. But knowing me, I will always get sucked in and have that bad, ooh, nice yarn, let me buy it, kind of feeling to it, which happens more than I care to admit to myself or to anyone else. So that's kind of it. I'm also kind of thinking of what I'm doing ne next. Um, I'll probably do a medium weight yarn so I can go go away from the lace weight. So anyway, more next week on what I'm working on, but... On to part two of doing a mini tutorial. All right, so part two, I just want to go over how I do tassels. So obviously I have my scarf and here. Um, I got a crochet, crochet needle. It's probably a little bit bigger than I need for this, but uh, it works for w my purposes. And for the tassel, what I did for this scarf was I actually took a thread of each color of the scarf and put it in the, the, the tassel so there's actually seven different strands um, in this and I made it to about um, a foot so or 10 inches about uh, just because we're my uh, this is actually gonna get folded in half so the tassel is only gonna be about that long so what I do for the tassel is um, I put the crochet needle in where I want the tassel so this can be where I want my first tassel um, then I link put all the yarn that I have my tassel around the crochet needle and pull it through like so once I have that loop I make sure it's big enough and I bring all the yarn all the ends through Nope, oh, missed one. And I pull it tight. That's actually my tassel for it. So let me do another one. Actually, I'm going to do two more just to, to demonstrate. So again, put it through where I want the tassel. Hook all of the yarn, like so. And bring it through. Make sure I have a big enough loop for all the yarn. And everything came through and pulled tight. Now obviously you can make these as close or as far apart as you want, but also it depends on how big of a tassel you want. Some might be bigger or smaller depending on the size of the scarf. This is also like a all of you guys have seen is a massive scarf so having a little bit bigger tassel um, doesn't look odd or weird or disproportionate to the rest of the scarf um, so one more time pull it through there's my loop pull the yarn through so there's three tassels now I always recommend to make the tassels if you're unsure of the, of the length that you want Always make it a little bit longer than you think it should. 
just because you can always cut it shorter, but you can never obviously make it longer. So that's how I make tassels for my scarves. Thank you. I'll see you next week.